Tomorrow's challenges and uncertainties regarding energy supply are huge. Current predictions are that by 2030, global demand for energy will increase by more than 50%. By that time, the EU import dependency could reach 70%. Therefore, the European Union has taken the lead announcing far-reaching targets for the use of renewable energies by 2020 in order to tackle climate change. This includes renewables accounting for a 20% share in total energy consumption, a 20% increase in energy efficiency, and a 20% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. The stakes are high, and to make the right policy choices, European leaders increasingly depend on robust scientific advice. This is provided by the European Commission's Joint Research Centre. The JRC is an independent scientific organisation comprising 2,700 staff in seven research institutes. JRC scientists are involved at all stages of the energy debate. They provide scenario development as well as crucial scientific and technical support for the conception, development, implementation and monitoring of EU-wide policies. For example, JRC scientists are working on the next generation of nuclear energy reactors as a green and competitive option. As climate change has become a high priority around the world, support for energy production by nuclear power has grown significantly. One third of EU electricity is currently produced via nuclear fission. Eight new reactors are under construction and the debate on extending the lifetime of existing plants is intensifying. Many countries are looking at nuclear energy as an important part of the energy mix, but for us to do that, you know, we need to make sure that nuclear energy is used at the highest level of safety in a secure manner and, and exclusively for peaceful purpose. And obviously our cooperation with the Joint Research Center and, and many other institutions, international and national, uh, is helping us to make sure that the nuclear energy is available by maximizing the benefit and minimizing the risk. How can the evolution and promise of nuclear technologies be squared against the risks? Part of the answer lies in explaining to people that improved reactor systems provide new options. Maximizing fuel safety, extending the lifetime of reactors, minimizing waste, and building in non-proliferation safeguards are just some of the advances that JRC scientists are working on. The reactors today are in a sense not really sustainable for a very long time. They burn uranium in a simple way and only your uranium. What you need is a reactor that can breed their own fuel and can make the reserves that are today available uh, for a much longer span of time. Prototypes of the so-called Generation 4 reactors could be ready in 2020, with commercial applications expected around 2040. A sustainable combination of Generation 3 and Generation 4 reactors could provide low carbon, enhanced safety and sustainable electricity production for hundreds of years to come. Green technologies have to complement the energy mix. For example, wind energy. And of course, photovoltaic solar energy products. New solar energy technologies are tested and certified for use at the JRC, which also hosts Europe's hydrogen and fuel cell testing facilities. Energy efficiency, especially in buildings, can and must be improved. Technological progress, combined with relatively simple energy conservation measures, could allow the EU to reduce its consumption by up to 20% by 2020. JRC scientists also helped prepare a strategic energy technology plan to coordinate R&D and innovation processes in the field of low carbon technologies and to accelerate their commercial deployment. What we do right now in the implementation phase of the set plan is to assess the main bottlenecks that innovative energy carriers face when they want to enter the energy markets. Whether it is food, chemical products and health, environment and sustainability, nuclear safety and security, or technology foresight, the JRC is providing independent and robust scientific and technical support to EU policy making. These are areas crucial to the future of our economies and the welfare of our citizens.